Good morning. It's still morning. So see, it's a win for the day already. I am up and moving and looking a little scary, but that's okay. We are going to pull this together. Today I'm going to go have my brows touched up with Lori Collins. She's amazing. So if you are looking for somebody to microblade your brows, um, send me a message and I'll connect you with Lori. She's amazing, does great work, um, and is located in Centerville. So um, let me know if you're interested in having somebody do microblading for your brows. Okay, so today I wanted to talk about a couple of things. Hi Jade, hi Mariah, hi Ashley. I have a situation here. These are skin cancers that have been like burned off. Yeah, kind of owie and kind of itchy, but we're going to hide them. <laughs> anyway, you guys, my skin is looking a little rough today, so I'm gonna show you how mascara can fix you up really quick. So when you jump on, let me know um, where you're tuning in from. So I wanted to talk um, about, I've had a ton of new people that are following me and reaching out to me about mascara's 3D foundation and wanting to know if it's something that will work for them or if it's too hard and too complicated. I'm telling you right now, it's not too hard and it's not too complicated. So let me hurry and do my makeup and then I'm gonna break it down into the basics on how you choose colors, what compacts you get free, all of that stuff. So um, let me just get started. We'll just hurry and do my uh, makeup. I'm probably not going to do much with my brows today since I'm just gonna go and have them microbladed anyway. So we'll see if I can stop myself from doing eyeshadow though because I'm telling you, <laughs> of course you're tuning in from your bed. It's 11 o'clock, get out of bed. Get out of bed. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a color. It's called Mango. I call it Mango Magic. I'm going to erase these dark circles that are happening underneath my eyes. I know, it's a problem. And when I do this, I'm going very, very, very lightly with this color Mango. And sometimes it'll look super orange in the beginning, but it needs to warm up on my under eyes and then it'll blend in. Hi, Penny. Thanks for your order. I'm super excited that you're in love with the products because they are pretty amazing and there really is nothing like them. Hi, Kim. Okay, you guys, I'm getting distracted already. Okay, I can't stand looking at my eyelids so I'm going to clean them up. And you know what's amazing about using these highlights as like an eyeshadow primer? Look at that. Look at the difference, what that does. It takes two seconds. Get this little magic brush. Find the perfect color. This color that I'm using right now is called Candlelit. I'm using it on my eyelids. My eyelids will fill moisturized but they won't get all like greasy so if you have problems with your eyelids um feeling greasy or whatnot we can talk about how we can help you with your eyelids and if you're dry like me the extra moisture on my eyelids is like so good okay so i've got to kind of Cancel out some of this redness that's going on. See, my infection is getting better all the time. Um, I go over my nose with a little bit of mango and I kind of swirl it around. And I do this because it color corrects it. And then when I go with my highlight color, it's like the perfect combination. So, and Sometimes people think that in the beginning that this looks overwhelming. But I'm telling you, it's the funnest thing ever because you're kind of like dip, dip, mix, 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 dip. And then like, it's just 
magic and it, you're not opening up bottles and opening up tons of different palettes. Everything's in one little place and you're just simply creating a masterpiece. Probably not, but we could dream, right? We could dream. Okay, now, lately, you guys, I have been loving this brush. This brush is called the Power Powder Brush. And let me tell you what I'm doing with this one. So what I like to do is this side that's kind of, and it's this is like a really, really stiff brush. Um, what I like to do is contour with this, okay? so that I get the really sharp contour on the bottom and then I blend it upwards with this. It's so good, you guys. So if you're feeling like with the detail hack and using this side, you're not getting that really sharp contour, then try the Power Powder Brush. Um, there was a time like two years ago when the company launched, that this was the only brush that we had left. <laughs> Seriously, those are the craziest days, but this brush can do everything. So everything's like, you can multitask with everything. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys, I'm getting a little bit of contour on my brush. I'm gonna start up here and I'm just going to see what I'm doing already. See what that, you can see my natural contour is like clear down here which makes my face pull down. So we're gonna lift my face up. So if you haven't had your hands on this Power Powder Brush, and especially if you have problems with being oily, hey Gina, I'm so glad you caught me live. So um, try this brush, you guys, it's so fun, but this brush is really made to pack on powder. So if you have really oily skin, or like me during the summer when I know I'm gonna be outside and sweating, I'll use this to kind of place my powder, and it's so good. So I'm gonna kind of try and avoid these skin cancer areas a little bit. I kind of want them to air out and heal up nicely, so. Now here's a trick for those of you that maybe have a rounder face. If you take and put, oh, we'll do it on this side so you don't have to look at that gross thing, and put more contour over here on the sides of your face, it's going to slim your face, okay? And if you have a thin face, maybe don't put the contour right over here because you want to widen your face. So just think about what you're trying to do with your face and some things that maybe bug you that you want to kind of correct or what I like to call optical illusions. That's what we're doing. We're going to create some optical illusions. So you can see with this brush, it actually has to be more of a swiping because it doesn't really dab very well. Okay. So if you like more of the dabbing motion, um, then like try a different brush, but I'm not kidding. It's really fun to try some new brushes. But Kim, it really gives you that really strong um, line on that contour. And so it's kind of a fun, it's kind of a fun tool. So don't just kind of write this brush off if you're more on the um, dry side. Think of it as far as being a little bit more precise. And then I'm gonna kind of go down here and give myself a jawline. Yeah, there's so many fun tips. I mean, I could do a live video all the time and talk about all the things, but I think you guys would probably get really tired of seeing me. So we'll just do it occasionally, although I haven't been feeling very good. So that's why you probably haven't seen me for a while. Um, I'm gonna show you guys, since we're doing different things. <laughs> this is my broken brush. This is why they have new brushes. This is the other side. So this is the um, B squared brush. This is the old wood ones. This is why they went to the, the um, new metal ones because they would have these, the glue would kind of loosen. So I'm gonna show you guys with this one how to put your highlight on with this one. So if you're wanting um, a couple of brushes and you don't want to have to buy all of them, sometimes it works really good to get these two brushes together, okay? And the reason I say that is because this one gets real detailed 
And then this one, you can do your powder. You can do your highlight with this one. You can do your highlight with this one. Um, this one works really good to buff, and I'm gonna show you that. Um, so, like, again, since I'm showing you all of the different tricks, let's just show you all the tricks. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and do my highlight. Okay, so I'm putting it on this fluffy brush and I'm just going to kind of pat it out. This is going to give me a really pretty light coverage and then I don't necessarily need to use a perfecter because I'm buffing it out with this and it like gives you like a really pretty airbrushed look. Okay, and I'm gonna put some up here and then just kind of dab it over my eyes, make sure I didn't put too much on my eyelids, kind of buff it out. And then I'm gonna go in with a color that's a little bit lighter and I'm going to really pop this eye open and brighten that up. You guys see the difference? See how that like really makes a, a really pretty um, look when you go, and I'm using Aura underneath my eye right here. Okay, so go down my nose with Aura. I'm gonna use my um, detail hack and show you how to quickly like make your nose look thinner. I'm gonna put a little bit of shadow on the side and I'm just going to run it. So I'm attaching it from my eyebrow down my nose. Okay, so see how I've kind of drawn that line on? I'm gonna take it the other way and go down that way. Sometimes it's hard for me to do this on the live. And then I'm going to make my nose look a little bit shorter. Flip my brush over with this side. Make sure I go down the center of my nose. Again, light pulls forward, dark retracts. See, and then I'm just going to kind of lightly buff it down the nose. Make my nose look thinner, okay? Can you even believe that? It's so cool how that happens. Now, the other place I love to contour is under my lip because I don't have very big lips. It works really good to just kind of pop it underneath the lip. You can also go all the way around the lip with this and a darker color. Again, we're just creating that shadow, okay? So I'm going to just make sure that this, I wanna use that other brush because I like it better. And really kind of cup underneath because what I'm doing is now I'm creating a shadow right here underneath that. And then we'll put a little bit of blush on there. Just kind of blending it up. Making sure that's there. Got my contour here. I maybe could add just a little bit more up here. Bring it down. Make sure it's all blended out. See that? It's like the easy, 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 easy. Okay. Stay spray, big deal. Now, sometimes people will go in and go ahead and do their blush now, and then the stay spray. I do my stay spray right after I do my highlight and contour. I've gotta cover these up. I don't want them to get sprayed. And I really pack on that um, stay spray. Then I take my blow dryer, And then you can feel like a supermodel, if only for a minute, right? I hope, I hope Facebook doesn't freeze me in that way, but it probably will. Okay, so because I'm wearing red, I'm going in with a color called sandstone. I know my daughter is going to like completely freak out because I just did that. It's okay, Ash. People know I'm crazy. It's, it's kind of what I hope you like about me because what you see is what you get with me. Look how pretty sandstone is, right? It's so pretty. 
I know, Ashley, I just did it. I did the supermodel. Yep, I know, I'm crazy. Okay, get you some good setting um, powder. This is La Mercier Translucent Powder. I love it. Um, if you want a less expensive option, you can go with a, um, another powder. It's called Airspun. Just make sure you get the translucent one. So I'm gonna take a little bit with my broken brush and just kind of pat it over the areas where, especially on my chin, I love to touch my chin. I want to kind of be very careful under my eyes because um, as the day goes on, I get um, really dehydrated underneath my eyes. So I don't want to overpowder there. Now, I don't think I cannot do a little bit of eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna take this really fluffy $3 brush and I'm just going to take a little bit of my powder and I'm just going to powder over my eyelid. Okay. You guys, the new release eyeshadows, the blue ones. <laughs> Seriously, Kimberly, it makes you feel like a supermodel, if only for just a minute. And you know what? Why not? Like, can we, I mean, even though I don't really want to be a supermodel, it's kind of fun. It's kind of silly. I don't know. So, the new releases are out, you guys. And so, they're offering... Um, one of the brand new illuminators with the fluffy brush that they want you to use to put on the illuminator with the powder ones, okay? So I'm just gonna use this little Morphe brush. I picked it up, it's super cheap. And I'm gonna go in, and you guys, this stuff, <laughs> it's like shebang. See that? It's like when I go outside and I get in my car and I check my makeup and I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh snap, that is a lot of illuminator. <laughs> you see that? It's like wowza, okay? So fun, right? Why not? Why not have a little bit of fun? Okay, so let me do, let me just show you guys. In fact, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my detail hack brush and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to use sandstone which is the blush that I just put on that illuminator is my absolute fave Susie and it is called I have to look just to make sure because I'll mess it up Glamazing. and I really thought I would love like Georgia more but really love amazing it's just wow hi Julia so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my sandstone which is the blush I used and I'm just going to kind of create an eyeshadow look with my blush now you can use your contour for your eyeshadow you can use um, your highlight for eyeshadow there are no rules with this. I have seen some of the most amazing eyeshadow looks done with contour. It's so crazy. So be open to the possibility that you might like just using a blush color. A nude is a beautiful color to use on your eyes as well. And the biggest thing with using a blush as an eyeshadow is I want I have to be sure and set it with my translucent powder okay that is the main thing so let's take actually I'm gonna put a little bit of my contour right here underneath that eye okay why not why not just have all cream products today And this is Ash. It's a contour color. See how pretty that is? See how easy that is? Now, 
One thing that I love to do, instead of adding a lot of brightness with shimmer, I like to take a color called Moonlit, and I'm gonna take it and just go right underneath my brow. Now, like I said, normally I use shadow contour for my eyebrow color. But look how good Moonlit, and linen works as well, but it really just defines the brow. And then I take it and I'm gonna put it right here to brighten up my eye. And then to make sure that my eye looks really pretty and finished, I'm just gonna sweep it onto the lid. And I'm just tapping using the multitasker. And then I take my finger and just kind of tap it to make sure that I pick up if there's any extra product. But do you see the difference in my eyes when I add the Moonlit and when I don't? You guys, it's so fun to be able to use these products in multiple ways. Take some Moonlit. And with my um, under eye circles and things, I can't go as bright underneath here as some of the girls go. Um, the brightening is so fun and so pretty, but I just can't do it. Like if I go too light underneath my eyes, it shows my wrinkles really bad. So keep that in mind. If you're using the products and you feel like it's bringing out your wrinkles more, then we probably have the wrong color and we need to try and figure out which color is gonna be better for you. It's like, I know Rosalind, it's seriously, it's like an eye lift. So, and there's no eyeshadow on me. It's all simply just blush and highlight and contour on my eyes. So then I'm gonna take my translucent powder and I'm just going to set this. See how pretty that is? So easy. Okay, now um, I'll do my eyeliner and mascara after, but I wanna to talk to you guys really quickly about um, how the system works. How does mascara work? So there's basically all sorts of different sizes of compacts, okay? There's different sizes, there's different um, patterns, all sorts of different funds. So what we do is we decide, one, where's your budget at? Because it's completely budget friendly. You can spend a little bit or you can spend a lot, okay? But the nice thing is, is you, you can always be building and putting it in the compact, okay? So there's basic compacts. There's this compact, which is called the square. And this one has all of my sparkle eyeshadows in it. I know, can you even like, check this out. You even see how pretty that is. It's like serious glitter. So. As you can see, now I'm gonna have glitter everywhere. As you can see, um, this one holds four eyeshadows or many people like to put two of the powders in here and then they have powder where, you know, and they just drop this in their purse and they can powder anytime. So it'll hold two of the regular tins or four of the eyeshadows. A good beginner to start with is one that looks like this and this is called a quad, okay? It's a single layer. It holds four um, of your regular tins um, or eight of your eyeshadows. So if you're wanting to try 3D foundation, pretty much what 3D foundation consists of is a highlight, a contour, a blush and lip, and an illuminator, okay? Now, I always say to people, I think it's more important that we make sure that we get your um, my husband just distracted me. <laughs> um, it's always imp more important to get your highlight color right. So I always suggest getting two colors of highlight. 
So um, like I use Amber and Aura, and I'll put them here, and then a contour, and then a blush. So that's a quad. Um, everything, like eyeshadows are 12. Um, highlight and contours are um, 14, and some of the illuminators are 16. So just keep that in mind. And then a step up, that, and you get this one, this compact free when you order four items. It doesn't matter what four. This one you get free, this is called a hack stack, with an order of eight. And so what happens is you've got the one level, it's the same as a quad, but then you flip it up and you've got one more level. So if you wanted to put eyeshadows on this side and the rest of your 3D foundation on this side, that works great. You get this one free with eight, okay? This is the next step up. This is called the mini double decker. I always try and tell my customers, I promise you will love the mini double decker. It has a huge space here and a huge space here. You get it free with more, you get it free with 10 tins of whatever you want and it holds more than 10 tins. Okay? So just know that that's an option. Oh, I love it, Corey. <laughs> I never know when I'm gonna go live. I, I, I get ready at all different times during the day. It just depends on how I feel. Now, if you're a makeup addict, and that's okay, you'll want this one. This is called the Double Decker. So you can see it has oodles and oodles and oodles of space, okay? When my daughter started, she didn't believe me that she would need a Double Decker. But now she has a Double Decker. I was right, see? And you get this one free with 16. Now you can buy this one separate too. So let's say you start with a quad and then you fall in love with everything, you can always just purchase this. So you guys, that is pretty much how mascara works. It's super simple. You just build, you're using products for multiple purposes. It's simplifying. I know there's a lot going on with people wanting to simplify their lives and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, it's a great way to just toss out a bunch of crap and put everything in a compact. Now, I talked about this gray hoodie before, okay? Um, this company I've decided to become a brand ambassador for. They're called Stay. It's called, um, their purpose and focus is to have people be happy with who they are embrace who they are, um, love themselves more, and be kind to others. So, um, I'm, I know, Rosalind, it really, the makeup, the brushes, everything is so good. But um, this company called Stay, they have great things, you guys. I have loved this great hoodie, but I love the message. I'm very um, passionate about words. Um, there's so much power behind a word and stay to me means stay present, stay focused and love yourself where you're at. So um, if you're interested in, you know, purchasing a gray hoodie or they have all sorts of t-shirts and hats and all sorts of stuff, but it's just a way and a movement to help people be happy where they're at and love themselves. And so, um, I've got a discount code that I've posted above with my link. Um, if you have any questions about them, you could, it's pretty much everything's done over on Instagram. So you'll want to jump jump over there and um, follow Stay Wear. Um, you got it, Kim. I will I will message you. So um, anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I will show you guys some before and afters of my brows that I'm getting microbladed today. So, um, well, touched up. These, I did these, gosh, almost two years ago, you guys. So, like, they've stayed really well. And I love, even though I go over them sometimes because my skin um, changes based on if I'm wearing self-tanner or whatnot, sometimes they go, like, red, sometimes they're gray, you know, they kind of shift but I love having the um, shape of my brows. Um, 
already done for me. And then it's so quick with the contour just to touch them up. So you guys have a great day. If you have any questions about mascara, it's super easy for me to color match you. Yesterday I went out and did a makeover on a girl that I had photo color matched. And you guys, we were, we were like right on the money. It was pretty amazing. So if you think you can't get a good color match with a photo, think again. All you do is message me or um, email me and just say, I'm interested in trying the products. I can help you go through and see which ones are going to be most important for you to start with. So you guys have a great day and um, we'll talk to you soon.